Level 1, Episode 6, The Moss Stitch and Changing Colour. The moss stitch uses a single crochet and a chain alternatively to create the stitch. So here's your information for this stitch. The moss stitch is also called the linen stitch. It can be working multiples of two, plus your turning chain, which is one, because your stitch height is still the same as a single crochet. And at the bottom there is your chart symbols for it. Okay, so this is my sample piece for this stitch. And you'll notice that we've got uh, one color at the bottom. Then we have two sections, one here and one here, which are used with two colors and they give different looks. And then the top section is used with three colors. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so if you'll see by my label, I've got my DK and my six millimeter and the name of the stitch, which is the moss or the linen. Then we have the same stitch worked with two colors. Um, and it's done using a single line for each colour, which gives it this um, vertical look. And then we have the same two colours, um, but because they're worked with two lines of each, it gives a horizontal look. So you've got one, two, one, two, one, two, and so on. Then here at the top, I've used three colours, but I've done them in single lines again, um, and it just gives it a completely different look. So you can achieve different looks with the same stitch, depending on how you have your colors. So we're gonna start off with a single color, just to keep things nice and easy. Now, if you've already worked a foundation chain and you've already worked your single crochet using the other videos that we've made, you'll have a basic start, you'll know what you're doing, but we're gonna work through this anyway. So you're gonna do your stitch height, which is one, because it's, it's a single crochet height stitch. Okay, now, this is your top row. All right, I've just worked a couple of normal rows to get us started on this sample. So you're gonna skip this first stitch and work into the second stitch. But to get over that first stitch, we're gonna make our chain. So work one chain, and then work your single crochet into the second stitch. Right there. So we're gonna chain one, and we're gonna skip a stitch, and then we're gonna work a single crochet into the next stitch. So each time you're skipping a stitch, that's where you work your chain, okay? Skip, and then single crochet there. Chain one, skip a stitch, and work your single crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip, and then work your single crochet into that end one there. And that is your first row. Okay. So let's work another row. So chain one to turn. And that's your stitch height. Now this time, you're going to do a single crochet into each chain space and then work a chain above the single crochet of the previous round, okay? So there's your chain space. Work that single crochet in there. Chain one, skip the single crochet from the last round, and then work into chain space that you made, and work your single crochet in there. So it's basically alternative, you know, single crochets and chains but always make sure you skip when you chain one okay so let's work that to the end of the row chain one skip that stitch and then work into the chain space chain one and skip and then work into that chain space and because it's the last one it can be a bit tricky because uh, sometimes you can work a bit tight at the beginning of your rounds. So make sure you find that chain space and not the stitch and work into there. There we go. I got it. <laughs> All right, chain one and turn your work. We'll do a few more rows and then we'll take a look. So this is what we've got. And as you can see, the stitch works all the way up but it kind of works in a zigzag pattern so your left right left right because you're working alternate 
So now we're going to use two colours, and it's, this one's going to produce the horizontal stripes. Okay, so I'm also going to teach you how to change your colour. So normally, on that last stitch that you've just worked, before you do your turning stitch and turn your work, pull the new colour through the two loops on your hook for the single crochet. That finishes off your last single crochet for that previous row. And that will give you a really good colour change. So you've got the blue and then you're starting with the red or whatever colours you're using. Um, now, once you've pulled that through, it's not going to be secure. So if you snip the blue away, and then to secure it, I like to tie a knot in mine. I I'm, I'm really like to make sure that's not going to come out or not going to go anywhere. Okay. just snip away those ends now well, what you're left with don't snip it too close obviously but um, what you're left with is, is tiny little ends now when you come to work the border on your work right at the end you're going to work over those so that they're tied in against the work so you won't see them so don't panic about it being super tidy all right because we're basically going to hide them along the edge there okay so don't panic all right, so we're going to start our next round row sorry all right single crochet uh, single chain to get to your single crochet height we must more stitch height in this case now then we're going to work our chain and we're going to skip that first stitch and work our single crochet crochet into the chain space of the previous round same as last time so it's chain one skip one and then work one Okay, so let's get to the end of the row. We'll do, we're going to do two rows in this colour because that's what's going to give us the horizontal look that we're going for in this particular case. Okay. Now at this point, if you were working your vertical rows, you would stop, okay? Because you'd finish off that last stitch using your new color, just as we did before, okay? So you then achieve this look, yeah? If we go back to the sample, you can see the vertical look. Because it's used in single rows, you've got your different colors in each row, okay? And that gives it the vertical look. But we are working the horizontal at the moment. So we need to do two rows of each colour. So we've got two of those, two of those, two of those. So we'll do two blue, two red, two blue in our case here. So I'm going to finish off that stitch and I'm going to work another row. And I'll see you at the other end. Okay. So as you can see, I haven't finished that last stitch. All right, we're going to bring in the blue again. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to finish the stitch using the new colour instead of the old. All right, so I'm just going to hook that colour over, make a little loop, and pull it through the two loops that are on your hook to finish off that single crochet. Now, normally I would say snip it, tighten a knot. However, I'm going to show you another way that you could do this changing colour without snipping each and every time. And it's a little bit neater at the end. Now this will only work when you're doing two rows at a time because obviously you're going to work all the way along and then all the way back to where that other colour is. Okay, so still tie them in because we don't want that the blue that you've just snipped. All right, we don't want to lose that through the work. So we'll leave that there. Then we're going to do our normal row, but we're going to leave the red one. We're not going to snip that red, red one. Okay, so let's work another couple of rows using the blue. So we get all the way back to the beginning. Now we're going to bring up the red and then bring the down the blue, get that tail out of the way. And we're going to pull that red through 
to finish off that stitch again. Okay, so you haven't snipped it, you've just left it along the side there. So just pull that blue tight, pull that red tight, and then continue working in the red. Again, leave that blue, don't need to snip it. Do another couple of rows, and then we'll come back to the end and I'll show you again. So this time we're gonna pull the red down and the blue up, and we're gonna finish that stitch using the blue. So you're starting your next row with the blue color. That's it. Pull the red tight, pull the blue tight, and just carry on working with the blue. Okay, there we go. Now we've worked all the way along, you can do it again. So blue down, red up, and finish off that stitch. Now this way it'll be a lot neater when you're working your border, because you won't have quite so many knots to work. All right, but this time we are gonna cut that blue one. So I'm actually gonna tie this into that red. Um, you could just leave it down the side, but I, I just don't like it going anywhere. So I'm gonna tie it in to the red that it was now our working yarn, okay? And the reason is we're now moving on to doing one row, so just like that. Okay, so here's a close up of what we've worked already. These are your horizontal rows, and now we're gonna move on to the vertical rows. Okay, so, we are working the first row of red. And wow, look how quick I am. <laughs> okay, now we get to the end. We're not gonna finish that stitch. We're gonna bring in the new color so that we're then working a blue row, okay? So you're gonna finish that last single crochet with the blue, just hook it on through. Okay, now because we're changing after each row instead of working back and forth, you're going to need to snip um, it, because it's just otherwise they'll, you'll have threads everywhere. And again, knot it just to be on the safe side. It's better safe than sorry. You don't want your work falling apart. Put all that effort into it, and then before you know it, you lose one little stitch and it's all unraveling. It'll be a nightmare. So snip off as much as you can, but not don't want to do it too tight because again, we just uh, cover them up when we do the border. So let's do our blue row. Speedy Gonzalez. And then we're going to change again to our red. I think you've got this by now, haven't you? Just finish off that stitch. And that literally just gives you a nice clean finish between your rows. So a few rows later, and this is what we've got, okay? So you can see the uh, horizontal rows at the bottom there, and then we've got the start of our vertical lines at the top. And you've, you just cover the edges with your border, and that'll get rid of all those little loose ends. So that's pretty much it. Depending on how you want your work to look, um, you've got it now. You can, you've got your different choices, okay? Any questions, comments, just put them down below. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is up and running, okay? Like, comment, and share with your crochet friends. And I'll see you next time. Happy hooking.